If your back pain increases the longer you sit when you bend forward, or if you feel stuck standing up straight after sitting long periods, I'm going to change your life. My name is Dr. Grant Elliott, founder of Rehab Fix, and we have helped thousands of people around the world fully recover from low back pain, disc herniation, and sciatica. And in this episode, number 144 of the Low Back Pain Podcast, I'm going to show you why you are living your life in flexion, and I'm going to show you how you can undo that with a few key habits and exercises so you can get pain free. Real quick, if you have not joined my private Facebook group yet, you need to do so. It is called Rehab Fix Low Back Program. And immediately upon joining, you will receive our free step-by-step Sataka guide. This is the same process that we have taken thousands of our clients through around the world to identify exactly how to fix their sciatica and ultimately become pain-free through our one-on-one coaching program. In this group, you will be able to see our clients and what they're doing for success and additional resources and more free guides. So if you're serious about fixing your back, you need to join this group, Rehab Fix Low Back Program. See you soon. So let's get right to it. Many of you live your life in flexion. What does this mean? It means that you are sitting in the car. You're sitting for lunch. You're sitting at work. Then you get home and you sit on the couch and watch some Netflix. And then you might sit in your bed to read a book as you unwind. So much flexion. And so many individuals develop flexion intolerant lower back pain. What does this mean? It means that flexion tends to exacerbate their symptoms. So the longer you sit, the more you feel it. When you bend over to put your socks and shoes on or pick something off the ground, you feel your back or leg pain increase. But also, if you are sitting long periods, you feel rusty going to stand up straight. You feel twice your age. It takes a few seconds to get up straight. It takes you a few steps to get up straight. These are common symptoms that we hear here at Rehab Fix every single day for the types of lower back issues that we help people resolve all around the world. And I'm going to tell you some key components and some habits on how to address it today. Because most of us live our lives in flexion, this is why most of the time stretches like knees to chest or that back stretcher at the gym where you kind of lock your shins into it and you push your hips back and you let your arms stretch out in front of you, get a nice stretch along your lats and your lower back. These might feel good, but these are usually not effective for the vast majority of people. And the reason why is because you're already getting too much flexion throughout the day. The only reason why these stretches feel good is because they're a different position. Here's what I mean by this. Imagine you're holding your elbow flexed all day long. Okay. It's going to start to feel stiff. It's going to start to feel achy. Now imagine if I close my elbow a little bit more. Well, it's going to feel a little bit better because I'm just getting out of that same position, but I'm still doing more of the exact same thing. What I need to do is I need to get out of that flexion and into extension. I need to straighten my elbow to get the opposite motion to undo the amount of flexion I've been getting all day long. I need to get out of that position. The exact same thing goes for your lower back. If you're sitting most of the day, if that is your particular lifestyle, then flexion-based exercises are just putting your back in a different amount of flexion. So it's going to feel better than what you've been sitting in all day, but it's just promoting the same motion you've been getting all day long. So we need to do the opposite to counteract the sitting and to undo a lot of the stresses that our back is receiving throughout the day to start to recover and work towards a pain-free life. The first exercise we're going to start with is a gentle rotation exercise called the windshield wiper. I'm going to explain why in just a moment, but to perform this exercise, you lay flat on your back, you bend your knees so your feet are close to your butt, and you're just going to let both knees rock side to side together as far as you can comfortably. The reason why we want to start with this is because before getting into the extension-based movements to undo all the flexion you had throughout the day, we want to mobilize the lower back and start to restore the normal motion that it needs to help open everything up so that it receives the extension exercises easier and better and you tolerate them further. So this is a very gentle movement that most people can ease into to start to open everything up and get it loose. And then we can work into our extension based movements. Hey, real quick, if you're watching this video and you're resonating with the things that I'm saying and you're ready to be pain-free, just click the link below and you can schedule a call personally with my team so we can meet with you, go over your current situation and figure out what you're missing and help you develop a game plan so that you can finally become pain-free. This is for serious people only, so click the link if you are ready to go. Back to the show. The second exercise is our kneeling hip thrust. 
I like this exercise for multiple reasons. To perform this, you're in a kneeling position with your toes curled under you, key component actually, and you're going to drive your hips up and forward as far as you can comfortably, squeezing your glutes and feeling the front of your body stretch. This is an active extension movement, meaning that your low back is getting extension, your hips are getting extension, your glutes are activating all in an active way. And your toes are curled under you to stretch the plantar aspect of your foot, a stretch that most people do not get. This can be really good for different foot issues and kind of opening up the back musculature of our calves and posterior chain. You will perform this exercise for reps and you will feel much, much looser after doing this while also getting some nice blood into your glutes and other regions. It's a, it's a good active kind of strength and stretch based movement. Now, if this is too easy for you. If you're like, Hey, yeah, I'm beyond this. We can hold the weight, grab a kettlebell, grab any other object you want and perform the exact same movement, holding a weight. Great way to get your glutes active, hip extension and low back extension, and really get things moving in the right direction. Now, our third exercise, this is one I really, really like. This is our prone hip extension. You're going to lay flat on your stomach, one leg at a time. You're going to raise the leg while remaining straight as high as you can to the ceiling. Almost looks like you're doing a glute kickback, but the legs just staying straight. The reason why we want to keep the leg straight is to purely isolate hip, glute, and lower back movement. If the knee is bent, we're going to start to change the motion of the movement. So this just helps isolate things a little bit further. As you raise each leg higher and higher and higher each time, you can alternate each side as you go as well. You're going to feel once again, great glute activation. You're going to feel a lot of hip mobilization, hip flexor stretching as you do. It's an active hip flexor stretch. And once again, you're going to get some more lower back extension as you do this, especially as you get into those higher ranges. These three exercises require no equipment. You can do all of them at home and they are going to help you immediately undo so much of the sitting and the stress that you put on your back throughout the day. If you tend to sit most of your day, which most of us do. Now, how do you maintain this? Implementing these exercises into your day is great, but how do we maintain it? One simple habit you can do is when you're at home, instead of going right back to sitting on the couch or sitting in a chair and more flexion, start to do adult tummy time. I'm 100% serious. Start to lay on your stomach more, prop up on your elbows when you're watching TV or texting or working on your computer or whatever. Spend more time on your stomach, spend more time on your elbows, spend more time in extension. So many of our clients with disc or sciatic issues notice that this feels incredibly good to them and it can actually start to reduce some of the pain out of their leg. Now, not everyone will feel comfortable doing this. Some people we need to modify their positioning and take them through a different course of treatment to get them to the point where they can rest in extension or do any form of extension based movement. Not everyone can start with this day one, even if they have disc or sciatic issues, there's many methods that we take many different clients through depending on where they're at, which is why we do one-on-one -on -one coaching with these individuals like yourself around the world. But if you're able to spend more time on your stomach or in extension, this is going to be a great way to maintain some of that extension throughout your day. And this is a great habit lifestyle based change that anyone can make in their life to promote more movement in better position and less sitting. So I hope you've gathered here that sitting is not the devil. Too much of anything can be bad, right? Too much standing can be bad too. This is just for those individuals who are maybe forced to sit for the vast majority of their day. Here are some ways that you can counteract a lot of that to reduce your pain, to help your mobility, to help the way that you feel in a few key ways that you can promote more extension throughout your day. Some of you will feel great after doing this, and some of you will not be able to do these exercises, or you might still struggle after, and you might need more help. And that's exactly why we exist because so many people listen to our videos or listen to our podcasts and get a lot of help, but it might not be enough to get them 100% pain-free. And so if you're benefiting from this content and you need that extra help, you need someone to hold your hand a little bit. That's exactly what we're here to do. So please book a call with us. Let us meet with you one-on-one -on -one so we can take you through our process and we can determine what exercises you should be doing, what you should not be doing, and ultimately how we can help you get pain-free. And you can have a very simple plan 
to get yourself there and learn how to be pain-free forever. Once again, be sure to join my Facebook group, Rehab Fix Low Back Program, so you can get additional exclusive content and our free Sataka guide immediately upon joining. If you are watching this on YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you are listening on your favorite podcast platform, please leave a five-star rating and review so we can grow this podcast and help reach more individuals who deserve to get results, who feel like they're spinning their tires and getting frustrated in doing so. As always, move more, move in nature, move in the sun. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day. up and forward as far as you can comfortably as far as you can comfortably